Welcome back to Skippers, presented by Owners Box Fantasy Sports. Today's segment, Waiver Wire for Week 8 in Fantasy Baseball. Avery Shenny, Jeremy Roach, Andrew Boyer, giving you two guys each under 30% rostered who you need to pick up on your wire if you can. Jeremy, let's get into some opening notes from you. You always forget, Dave. Make sure you subscribe, <laughs> like the video. We need YouTube's algorithm to push us, so make sure you smash that like button. All right, my first guy. I guess this isn't my controversy guy. My second guy is uh, Jonathan VR of the, if you didn't know, he plays for the New York Mets and he is getting more playing time because of injuries. Obviously everyone knows he comes with steel, like speed upside. Um, if this guy, the only issue is, can he find playing time in that lineup? That was the issue at the start of the year. Yeah. And now he's playing every day. Now they have him batting one. He's jumped up. He was six. Now he's one. That's why I like that. I think they're going to find a, a, a spot in the lineup for him. I don't see why they're moving him. He's been great. He's been getting on base. I think he's had one steal or two steals. Uh, but I do see major upside here for speed uh, and a guy who just saw contact. I mean, two years ago, we saw in 2019, he was he was really good. Uh, and he can be a solid fantasy player. So I'm going Jonathan VR. Yeah, he was, he was a guy who has... His sprint speed has gone way down, mm -hmm. but just a guy who can steal bags, right? Yeah. Like, he's done it for so many years. He just knows the jump. He knows how to get uh, on base, get a good jump right away, and that's how you steal bases. You don't always have to be the fastest guy. It's not a bad pick. We just worried about playing time for him yes. early in the season. Now he has that playing time, so that's a guy that you should have on your team. Yep. Uh, Drew, anything? Um, I think that you make great takes. You'll get lots of runs in the first batting position, lots of stolen bases. Okay. My second guy, now do I know why I'm picking this guy? Hell no. For some reason, I, got, I randomly have a love for Chris Davis. <laughs> K He's Davis. K Davis with the Rangers. I wrote an article if you want to go check it out. Um, I don't know why. I just like, he was such a good fantasy player. There's like three 2018, years in 2018, 2017, yeah. 2016. This guy mashed, and he was home run central. Uh, had a terrible 2019, and then obviously 2020. Where, you know, it has the question marks of being a shortened season. A lot of veterans didn't play well. He's got new life with Texas, and it looks like they're going to be using him when uh, they're playing in the AL. Uh, but I don't know. I think I think the upside is there. 2% rostered. You can wait even a little bit, but I think that people should keep their eyes on him. I have him stashed in a couple leagues. Uh, but no, I mean, nothing I see right now is bad. He's had some good uh, ABs. You know so. what was bad? Do you remember what was bad about his game? Just throw from the outfield. Uh, yeah, he has the yep. So, <laughs> so he, I think we're not counting defensive stats in fantasy baseball. Someone, I, I, it was in, I believe it was in Houston, or where he they he had to throw home, and it was like a complete yep's throw. Uh, so I don't think he's going to get another shot in the outfield. Um, so expect him to be the DH two utility spot leagues. I'm really targeting him, uh, which which is what my league is. So K Davis. I'm sure, dude. Chris Davis, he he hit 247 for like five straight years. That was like the coolest thing ever. And he just didn't hit 247 in 2019. 2020, you can kind of give him a pass. He's an older guy. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the struggling in 2019 and then continue to struggle 2020. I don't really even know his stats from 2020, but I'm sure they just weren't great. Oh, they were terrible. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you hit like 200 with like no power. Okay, well, this isn't a guy you're spending a lot of money on no. to get him. No. Like, yeah, I think this is a guy you can wait and wait for the production to start happening. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then pick him up. Um, I don't think anyone's scrambling to pick him up right now. So I'd, I'd do a wait and see approach. If the home runs start coming in, the RBIs start coming in, then add him quickly. Yep. Your guys. My guys are, first Go, of all. Yeah, first guy first. First guy. I have uh, Nico Goodrum, uh, second base and shortstop for the Tigers. Another Tigers player. We had Grossman last week. Uh, Goodrum is rostered in 11% of leagues on ESPN, uh, about 30% on Yahoo. So he's more available on ESPN. Uh, in the last two weeks, five stolen bases, and he's batting over 300. He's batting 310. And uh, taking a look into StatCast profile, 89th percentile hard hit percentage and 71st percentile speed. So um, this is a guy I'd hop on now while he's hot. Um, if you're struggling to fill that second base or a shortstop spot or even an infielder spot in that type of league, I would definitely pick this guy up. Uh, but I would watch out for his 46% strikeout rate oh, as Jesus his average Christ. could start to drop soon. What did you say? 46%. Holy f Holy shit. <laughs> As if you just tried is that to say top, Is that top it's number league? one in the league? Yeah. And this is a guy that you are endorsing. <laughs> yes, to the I'm listeners. endorsing. Week the, two, <laughs> and a guy with a 46% strikeout rate. Your your thoughts, while Jeremy. The I could potentially have a lower strikeout rate. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, but while the heater's on, you pick them up, you take the stolen bases, you take the hard okay. end percentage. Sure. But uh, watch out for that strikeout rate, and also the Tigers being the worst team in the MLB. Watch yes. out for that as well. Yes. Yes. I'm not, I have nothing to say. That strikeout rate caught me I'm off guard. Ge- I'm generally shocked yeah, as well. Yeah. Shocked. First percentile in K percentage. Yeah. <laughs> also first percentile in walk percentage, so... Mm, Interesting. Like hobby loves, crazy. Guy loves to swing at the ball. <laughs> Just, I think he loves not swinging at the ball at that point. Really? But I'm all well, over those highest guys. walk, right? No, no, no. Lowest walk. Lowest walk. Oh, <laughs> so he's like Boz and O'Neill. I love those guys. Okay. The speed. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. okay. Hey, 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 Robbie hey. Grossman paid off for him. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people have been loving that. So we're letting you lo- fly with this one, but. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look yeah. good. But yeah. if no. you see any uh, golden sombreros, so maybe back-to-back <laughs> golden sombreros, I would drop them. Okay, and my next guy, Evan Longoria. So he's kind of an old guy. Um, he's folding around in 25 to 35% of leagues in both ESPN and Yahoo. He's actually, his his uh, own percentage has been dropping like crazy because he's on a huge slump. Um, he's slumping right now with uh, two... RBIs and batting 184 in the last two weeks, but now is your opportunity to pick him up. Because if you look at his stat cast profile on Baseball Savant, 99th percentile hard hit, 99th percentile average exit velocity, 86th percentile barrels, 93rd percentile ex woba, 93rd percentile slugging, 90th percentile walk rate. So as soon as these numbers start turning into real production, you're going to want to have already picked up Evan Longoria. I got nothing to say. I, uh, who's the other option at third right now? Do you know? I, I don't really well, they know. They have like Solano there. and all of those Yeah, guys. true. Solano's injured. Does he yeah. come back and take... But for some reason, they refuse to play Solano and give him an everyday position, even though he hits well, over he, 300. they had him last year, but then they brought in Tommy LaStella and players like that. I mean, those numbers... I mean, you those gotta, numbers speak for themselves. I mean, I would be... I'd want to see like the BABIP and stuff like that, yeah. and just wonder why these numbers aren't translating to hits yeah. in production. It's but a BABIP. It, yeah. it does. It does look. It does look promising. I mean, I say you add him to your bench. You don't start him till the slump ends. You add yeah. him to your bench. You get a week where he turns it around, then you start him, and you get uh, start having this lighting up red stack has profile paying off for your fantasy team. Well, like just it. have to see how that goes. I like it. I'll go to my first guy, and that is Tyler Anderson of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Jeremy knows. I love pitchers on shitty baseball teams, and that is exactly what Tyler Anderson is. 28% rostered. Wonky delivery, left-handed guy. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour, but you can't ignore his numbers much longer. This is an ugly pick. That's just what I do for you guys. I get in the mud, I get in the (laughs) dirt, and I find guys that you don't want to take, but will pay off for you. Right now, 305 ERA with a good 313 FIP. All seven of his starts so far, three or fewer runs in five-plus innings. More whiffs and ground balls this year with his cutter being mixed in more. Deeper league target. I mean, he was ugly like Coors Field when he started pitching there in his career. And then last year, he was terrible in San mm-hmm. Francisco. So this is a guy that people have just written off completely. But, I mean, he should be a good guy for your fantasy rotation for the rest of the year. These numbers are going to drop. They have to drop. But right now, ride the wave with Tyler Anderson. 30% CSW is great for a, like a soft-throwing lefty, I'd say. 4th percentile in fastball velocity, but 86th percentile in fastball spin rate. So you know that fastball is catching up to hitters. Like, if you see a soft-throwing lefty when we used to play Jerry, you'd be mm-hmm. like, oh, he doesn't throw hard. And then you get up there and you have your late swing on a first switch fastball. You're like, oh, that, that got on me quick. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how his fastball has been playing with his spin rate. That's why he's been successful. Tyler Anderson, it's not pretty, but it'll help you get the job done. 28%. Next, my next guy, Vidal Brujan of the – sorry, do you guys need to have anything to say about Tyler Anderson first? I don't – I don't know much about him. I stay away from any Pittsburgh pitcher personally because yeah. that team is your dog. Good. There's any any second he can blow up your ratios, and it's yeah. not like he's going to get a lot of wins with the Pirates. <laughs> Soft, but the numbers, lefty. your numbers do speak for themselves. Yeah. There's multiple pitchers mm-hmm. on that staff who've actually had good years right Brew now. Brubaker Baker too. as well. Exactly. Brew so Baker, yeah. Can't ignore these okay. guys much longer, right? Yep. Next guy, this is a deep league target that you need to get on this week probably, and that is Videl Brujan of. I mean, the Durham Bulls right now, but he's a Tampa Bay Rays prospect, 6% rostered. He's a speedy contact hitter who that's kind of been his profile his whole minor league career, but just a random power surge to start the AAA mm-hmm. season this last week. Second base outfielder type thing, your second base shortstop. Four homers so far, six walks and six games at AAA. Kevin Kiermeyer's hurt. You think he can play the outfield a little bit as well, so that's not a bad guy they might call up. I think second base is so thin if he gets called up and he has some good production. That's really good for your teams. Also, you'll probably be up before Wander Franco. I don't know 
why the Rays seem like that's a, their best idea, but it seems like that's what's going to happen for the Rays. So it's interesting to see what Vidal Brujan will do, but I think he's a good target uh, this week for your uh, waiver wire. Anyone's thoughts on Vidal Brujan? Yeah, I think that fantasy owner should get ahead of prospect coming up. Um, it's the easiest way to not spend a lot of your budget on them. Yeah. If you're bidding. Um, for sure worth uh, stashing a player that could make a major impact uh, in the MLB this year. Uh, but no, I think that's good. Wander Frank, I still obviously would Wander Frank was a better Franco. prospect. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, but like not, you said, you know, he's kind of the guy who's Wander Franco's always the talked about prospect and he kind of gets shoved to the side. So exactly. Um, it would be like uh, Acuna and Albies coming up at the yeah. same time. Yes. Like, that's a great point, Avery. Like Acuna comes up and then mm-hmm. uh, Ozzy Albies, like, obviously not as good of a prospect, but yeah. he just does his thing too. So I think yeah, I agree. he's a guy who similar will, players too. Yeah, fly a little yeah. more under the radar. And with uh, Klenik getting called up this week, uh, could, yeah, he's definitely under the radar under Klenik and Franco. Yeah. yeah. That's all I got. Any no- more notes from anyone? No. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Please subscribe, join the Discord. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.